start off here with our second day of awards. We've got another group of five coming your way, starting with the old game of the year. Old game. We used to always just do the game from last year, but um, this is any game not from 2014. That, uh, we, so coming to a consensus will be interesting. How Games we, from 2016? Yes. Yeah. That's how old that it works. Applies. <laughs> First 2016 up. is so 2012. Wow. Alpha Can Protocol. Explain math to me. The Legend of Zelda: A Link Between Worlds. I'm not. <laughs> Be specific. Put all the Legend of Zeldas on there. Majora's Mask. XCOM: Enemy Adventures Unknown. Of mm-hmm. Adventures of Link. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, clarify. Is it, is it Enemy Unknown or is it Enemy Within? Enemy unknown. Okay, it's unknown. I don't think anybody knows. Yeah, we're not really sure which <laughs> with it, within just expansion. Spelunky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of that one. Dark. Eat it, no more. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. <laughs> dark Souls. I'm about, <laughs> I'm about ready to get back into Dark Souls. Yeah, enemy within is the Borderlands same. Two. I want to play some Dark Souls. Risk of Rain. <laughs> Kingdom Rush. Yeah. What? How far Tower did you get in dark Fall. Souls? We'll have some debate Ooh. around that one. That's hard to remember. Rogue Legacy. It's not very linear in my mind. Just Cause 2. We've got the bell. You ring the bells. Have you rang, rang any bells yet? I think I rang uh, one War- bell. So <laughs> Warframe. Just the one bell. There's two bells. But there's two. And the Stanley Parable. I just rang the second bell. Okay. And I got my ass kicked. So like so what is so, so basically this is just everybody's favorite game they played that was old this year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you have to kind of sell people on so so now let me add mine. Deus Ex Human Revolution. I also played that again oh this God. year, and that game was no awesome. Skyrim. Yeah. I I had heavier Skyrim years. I played. I played Skyrim. <laughs> so you've had heavier flows. Yeah, in heavier the sky flows. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think this was the year I started Skyrim. Me too. All right, I'm still. I'm just trying to think if any if there's any, been any game old game that I've played this year. Probably not. I'm mostly Minecraft. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to win that argument, so let's not even go there. <laughs> hey, my daughter's super into Minecraft right now. She loves it. That makes me feel better. I love Minecraft. <laughs> she loves your my videos. 11-year-old too. nephew. It's definitely. She would. I don't know, whatever. Well, and by, by me saying she loves it, she loves to watch me build things for her. Oh, yeah. Why not? Are you going to start streaming? Is she lazy? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, she is lazy. Honestly, I'm you, the should, you, should, you should do that. Just mic her up because people love little kids on streams. It's she's like weird, and that sounds oh, terrible. Will you, build, oh, will you build me a treehouse? I'm like, no, build your own damn treehouse. That's suspicious. Yeah. Only the people with pr- the Get problem her. with it are the suspicious people, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I, I started saying that, I realized how stream. bad that was. So. <laughs> You're the suspicious person, then. Yeah. Let your daughter stream. All suspicious right. Bad. I don't. <laughs> For okay, me. so I just started playing Just Cause uh, 2 recently, and that is the most boring game I've ever played. You're full of shit. I, What's boring? I, I hit this, I hit this You're not mo- doing it right. I hit, <laughs> I hit this moment where I was like, oh my god, this game is huge, and it's just like Far Cry, because I'm just taking over bases. And then I tried to take over some bases, and I kept just accidentally grappling when I'm so, to shoot the gun. So you don't know how to play the game. So you okay. just don't know your oh, controls. And, and, and then I just run out. I don't, I don't care about your opinion of Just Cause 2, so that doesn't affect ammo. anything going on right now. <laughs> um, I just got bored oh, with man. the game. Let's see. Rogue Legacy came back in a big way for me because it showed up on the Vita, and then I found myself yes. playing it on the Vita and What's the PC Vita? quite a bit. Um, so I had taken a break from it. Um Kingdom Rush, I don't think any, I'm going to have any backup there, but that was just kind of one of my nope. random mobile pickups. Nope. So <laughs> I'm okay with cutting that. Any other cuts? Um, um, Stanley Parable. <sighs> Let's keep that around for a bit because I played that quite a bit. Is Warframe? Well, I just, yeah, you played it quite a fun. bit. <laughs> so funny. All right, I'm okay. Is it, is Warframe, is, having, Warframe is fun. Is, okay, you're having fun with it? Well, I, I don't remember the last time I, I played still it. Play, we still played quite a bit of Warframe. We and played it, a lot of Warframe. And it... it Added some nice, remind, nice shit this year. Remind so. me what Alpha Protocol is. Uh, <laughs> it was the spy RPG. Came out 2012. It's from Obsidian. You can buy it for like two dollars. Yeah, it's totally worth the two dollars. I played through it twice. It was okay, fun. I think that's mm. on. It's just not ringing bells. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't see that getting assistance. Although it was well represented on Gifford's list. 
So get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, we got a lot, we got a so lot of games it. here. So Yeah, I don't know how you really cut this list down. I know which three I'm fighting for, but they haven't been... Well, I didn't play Borderlands 2, so get rid of that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <that's laughs> well, I'm voting Spelunky three times. So. <laughs> I don't... Okay. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Spelunky actually got a lot of votes, yeah. but I was much heavier into Spelunky the year before. Oh, well, so was that, I. Yeah. Well, well, that was the... I mean, that was the PC release, but it was also a re-release at that point. So True. We I burnt myself out on Spelunky, so I'm curious, what, were you guys actively playing, a, like, a lot of Spelunky or random Early Spelunky? Early in 2014 I was, but lately I haven't. I think, well, I played it for a little bit maybe early on, and then I watched Jason play some of it, and that was fun to well, do for d- me. You saw when I was ranked 41st, right? Like, that was that's, the, I, 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 I think that's actually when I stopped playing Spelunky, was I, when I got okay. 41 on the daily challenge, <laughs> and I was like, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really good. But yeah, so watching 42 Jason. Mu- 42 people must have been playing that day. <laughs> 42 people <laughs> yeah. played that day. Watching Jason actually progress through the game and make it farther, I think, was yeah. my Spelunky experience, really. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Just helping him and watching very him be better. Entertaining. It was very entertaining. Yeah. Uh, Link Between Worlds got a lot of conversation on our site this year, so I th- I'm holding on to that for a bit. Um, yeah, it's just another Legend of Zelda game. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> yes. Um, actually, I'm okay with cutting Just Cause 2 because that multiplayer stuff came out the year before. And and was it, the year, I was wondering when that was. And solely based on the fact that Jordan played it. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably cut Dark Souls because I... Was think, that this year or was it? Yeah, I think I think the year be, I was more into it the and year I'm before. Weird, yeah, and I'm weirded out. Plus, with the, the sequel came out, yeah. so it kind of okay played. Yeah. We're making cuts. We're making making cuts. Why XCOM Enemy Unknown? Was there like an iOS release? Was there a um, reason for the? There was a tablet release, right? Yeah, I didn't play it, but I didn't play not it on my wonderful tablet. You think as a phone? It was brought up that there's <laughs> a, a long war a big phone. I, I actually thought it was yeah. kind of a. Uh, well, and the, and the the well that that's completely separate. But there's a board game that's kind of set in the XCOM universe too. So that kind of got me back into it a little bit. I kind of think Borderlands Two and Risk of Rain are heavier year of the year before too. I don't know. I, I played pl- a lot of Borderlands. Yeah, last I played year. Borderlands Two okay. with yeah. some coworkers this year. All right, all right. I would get rid of w- XCOM before I, I would wanted Borderlands. to play Borderlands. <laughs> <laughs> no more wants to play. Okay, me. if you're is anybody else fighting for XCOM? No, no. Okay, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. I think Civ Five would have been up there oh, if they yeah. hadn't released Beyond Earth this Beyond year yeah, and then true. ruined any interest I had in the series for a while. So yeah. that was uh, Risk of Rain. I think that was, that yeah. was just I mean, us. I may have played it twice. Okay. <clears throat> That's I just beat it this year. That's why. Did we beat it this year? Yeah. Was it early this year? It was early. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. We can cut that. That's fine. Towerfall was pretty big, so I'm keeping keeping that around. We played a lot of Towerfall this year. Um. I have to look that up. Did anybody play Rogue Legacy other than Justin? I did. I did too. Oh, oh shit. Oh. I was about to cut it. Yeah, I was going to say. Because oh. I, I, I feel like that was a heavier y- the year before as well. I definitely streamed more Rogue Legacy than I did this past year. Would you put that on above Spelunky? For me, I would, yeah. All right. Bye bye, Spelunky. That's fine. I think, yeah. Okay. All right, we Warframe. have three more to cut. You want to cut Warframe? You're cutting Warframe? When did it? I'm trying to... Weep. I feel like that was the year before, too, wasn't it? Or did we play That's a lot fair. last year? That's fair. Yeah, I'd get rid of it. I mean, the Xbox One version is the one that came out this year. Mm. Yeah, I, don't really ha- I don't have a, so. I don't have a dog I'm in this fight. I'm just pointing of, it out. Like our, 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 game ni- our game nights, if we did a lot of Warframe, I think we did more Warframe last year, so I'm, I'm, okay, with, I'm okay with that. Um, and in this company, I'll go ahead. I would... Well, I don't know. Okay, Human Revolution. I replayed I it this you, year. You played the shit out of it this year too. So. I played it. I for okay. the first time this year right. too. And I installed man, it and didn't play it. <laughs> okay, it's there. I can see it. It's right there. Was there a tar- Towerfall discussion? I missed. We played a bunch of oh, Towerfall. We played a bunch in the office. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's <what> I, <laughs> we had a Towerfall tournament. It is beloved. I mean, with, this, with this group, I think you could probably cut Rogue Legacy. I would cut Borderlands 2 for Rogue Legacy. Just Fuck. I would. <laughs> I would keep not. Borderlands before right. Rogue Legacy. All right. You were my rogue backup, so whatever. <laughs> I bailed. <laughs> I, was not, yeah, I, was, <laughs> I was not your favorite brosif <laughs> right. on that one. So is it between Link and Deus Ex? I think so. So. Well, I didn't play either of them, so battle it out, fellas. I, I played them before. 
but not last year. I'm not a big Zelda fan, so. I own Deus Ex <laughs> and not Wait. A Link Between Worlds. Wait, pod, a pod, I'm, I think Link Between Worlds move, moves on just because the Backlog, backlog Commandos podcast kind of bumped it up. Well, that's how that is. Yep. <laughs> it's it's kind of yeah. for instance it's because our site awards. So, so if I did a human revolution podcast real quick, yeah, yeah we'll be, but we'll Gifford's be right written, back. But Gifford's written, <laughs> Gifford's written about it, and uh, so torn between those two games though too. Like yeah, let let my, let him decide that. What? Oh, yeah, okay, Cole. This is Cole's pick. Well, I mean, oh, I Jesus. I'm still you kill one. I of them. still I know you guys played a bit of Borderlands, but I felt like. If there was, this was finally the year where it kind of trailed off when we were ramping up for more. I new played a ton lights. of Borderlands. <laughs> All right, so how about yeah. since Towerfall is big because me and Justin played a lot at the office, that's not as big with this group, True. which would kind of but make it fall off. And I Mr. know Mr. Aaron likes some Towerfall. I like Towerfall, and it had his PC release and PS4 but release. Are we consider those two different games because it is called Towerfall Ascension? And I well, haven't that's played what I'm talking about. Okay. I want to, but I haven't. I know. I know there's others, Nic- as a sort of somewhat part of this group that have played Borderlands Two this year as well. So. Well, and Nicole played yeah, right. Human Revolution with right. me. Yeah. Right. That was. I guess yeah. For the site, uh, Tower Falls got to get cut then, because yeah, it might be more of a um, off-site thing. So. so Cole doesn't have to make a decision. Well, well, now, he did, now he does, but we go. yeah, because yeah. I don't. Now have, he has to choose a winner, which is I way better than horse. killing one of them. I don't have a horse in this race. <laughs> yeah, I can't pick any of these. Um. Ah. Uh, yeah. I like that people are playing Link, Link Between Worlds, <laughs> but I want to play some Borderlands too. I don't know when I'm supposed to yeah, do that. I do too. Borderlands. Oh, wow. Borderlands Wolf. Two can be our old game of the year next year. It's the old game of the year. <laughs> <every> year. <laughs> no. The I'm, only one I I'm, have I'm just happy it's on the list, so you guys can choose between. Whatever. That's all I have is Borderlands Two, in this fight. Mm-hmm. You play a lot of Borderlands. I did play a lot of Borderlands. Yeah. You played pre-sequel where too, you, right? Where I are you between Zelda and Deus Ex, Cole? What's what's going on in your head when you're even I, trying to I, think I, through I'm it? I'm leaning towards Deus Ex. Okay. And it, I mean, and two other people have I'm okay with that. been all over it. All so. right. Deus Ex Human Revolution is our old game of the year. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 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 mistakes for me. Not That's expected. crazy because that wasn't even on the original uh, yep. nomination list. We got, we got a very tight system here. I'll, I'll, have, to, <laughs> I'll have to pick that one up. Um, uh, runners up, Borderlands 2, which will never die. I think Borderlands, <laughs> Actually, I think Borderlands 2 is the new Skyrim. And then hey, uh, The Legend of Zelda Link that Between works. Worlds. Um, <laughs> all right. Next up. Oh, this will be Why fun. Why does it keep doing that? Okay, there we go. That's the wrong layer. Though. Next up is the... Not entertained mm-hmm. award for this underachiever of the year. Surprisingly competitive. These are all losers. <laughs> <laughs> These are all so fucking terrible. Um, it's a big year for this award. Actually, there are some. So keep in mind because this is a contested category. Okay, good. I highly contested. Is it's it's what your expectations were mm. compared to how it turned out. I got gotcha. you. So it's it's basically that gap. Well, I already How know big mine. Is that gap. Um, yeah. So um, Destiny apparently is on this list. Well, yeah, it is. Yes. Um, yeah. Assassin's Creed Just not Unity. Okay. Who had high expectations Assassin's for that? Uh, <laughs> uh, but at Good least question. Rogue didn't make the list. Did you play? Did he play Rogue? Did you play Rogue? I did not. I've not played Assassin's I could Creed do some more. Last year, chips. NHL 15. I thought that was your job to play everything that nobody else played. <laughs> it, I no, played that's, Destiny. That's, <laughs> that's, that's my that's my job now. I think. Uh, Watch Dogs. Play Watch Dogs too. Watch out. Uh, Ubisoft. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the Evil Within. Can Ubisoft win the Not Entertained Award? I would vote. And it's just an umbrella you award. Should, you should Space put Ubisoft. Oh. DF9. Screw that game. Space Base. Double Fine Nine. Thief, which Aww. is that's yeah, that was kind of my reaction when I saw that on the list and getting a vote. But we'll put it, voted for that. I okay. put it there and I voted just to spite Jordan. Did uh, Outlast? Okay, <laughs> that, that works. Yeah, that makes. Did sense. Outlast whistleblower come out this year? No, Ooh, I don't even. It didn't. Know. Did I don't it think not? so. No, I don't Can, think so. Do we have like a is there like someone a place that where you can confirm I'm pretty these? Sure, I'm pretty sure it did because I'm gonna put Outlast question mark. Is there like a series of tubes but. that has the answer? Um, I'm gonna throw out Mercenary Kings. You put Elite Dangerous on there as well. Uh, okay. Oh, really? Really? 
And Lords of yeah. Shadow too. I've heard I've heard mixed things on Elite. Well, you, you should tried. know what you're getting yourself into. You're getting yourself into a. No, oh, never mind. We'll it. Argue yeah, we'll argue about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep riding the, the last. Oh, game on that was a, that was a, Just yeah. grinding my teeth. Arr. Outlast whistleblower was this year. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then I will include I will include Outlast for now. Um, How about Outcast? No. Just for the record, that like the group, the singers. I'm guessing <laughs> Elite Dangerous didn't get any votes because Jordan forgot to vote. So, <laughs> all right. No love for Big Boy. All right. Which of these? Which of these disappointments will not stand next to Mercenary bigger Kings? disappointments? Elite. Steve, I mean, Elite's not that bad. Mercenary Kings was disappointing, was it? Did you have fun playing that game? Not really. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> because they, they did the bait and switch. We're like, yeah, let's play Contra with friends. Oh, shit, it's Monster Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with friends. I don't know. I, uh, I'm i not ready to cut it. That's the first right. cut. <laughs> I mean, Elite Dangerous, you you're you getting, can, you know you're getting yourself into a, a space simulator. I mean... Okay. But you want a good one. Yeah, but... I don't know. Why did you... Why'd you define you, uh, Jordan. Defi- define okay. making... Why, why wasn't it good? He, it was sorry, one I, was person. In, I was in chat. <laughs> what, what's happening right now? <laughs> I heard my name. <laughs> you have to tell us why Elite Dangerous is disappointing. Oh, so um, the promise of Elite Dangerous. All right, that's good. And, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then what it actually is right now. Thanks for the definition, but what <laughs> happened? <laughs> that doesn't help. Oh, I'm sorry, what are you asking? Give me a specific reason why Elite Dangerous deserves to be on this. I've only list. heard why good things not, about it. Why it's not entertaining? Yes. Have you ever. Okay, so I've been watching. I've been trying to watch people stream, and it is boring. It's. Um, you could say the same thing for a lot of games. No, I couldn't. It's just about the experience. So it's about what that person's making of the experience. And they don't of course, like, of course they, don't look like, they don't look like they're having fun or doing it. Because anything. it's a. It's basically. It's oh. basically flight simulator in space. Of course, nobody's having it's fun. Off the list. <laughs> 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 oh, so it shouldn't have been on the list. Ah, fine. <laughs> uh, you could take. You could probably take Thief off. No, I. I, oh, I just want to close the loop on that, just because you're not entertained by somebody else playing it. No, I mean that. That's... I keep wanting to buy the game. If the game didn't have like a fifty to seventy dollar price point, I would have bought it already. And so I've been trying to feel it out whether it, it's something. It's something. <laughs> it's something I want to buy. And there's nothing in it. You. I you guess fly from space base to yeah. That's space the space. point. That's the simu- That's the simulator part of it. Because it's too real. Love, that, is that the problem? It's too realistic. Well, I like games. Space, I, I like games like that. Like I've been real, waiting real. for a uh, for a good real. six <laughs> axis six axis space <laughs> shooter trucker game to come out like that. And the uh, they just I don't know. It just it's it. You can mod. It's, it's you not, I, you I, can no, mod European I'm, truck simulator or whatever, right? I guess I. I just, Wait, can you take the European trucks into you should. The space? Why not? How do we get on all, Euro <laughs> trucks? <laughs> all I ever see in the Twitch streams is just <laughs> someone flying through right. through empty space, and then occasionally there'll be an asteroid. Field. But I don't know what but, your expectations were. But it has to be the expectation because what else? Like that's, that's that's I'm with him yeah. in that. I thought that was the definition of the game. Well, no. Also, I, this is the longest anybody's ever talked about this game. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the the promise of that game, of what that game and like the other one, the Star Citizen, of like what the way they, those games were kickstarted, they were crowdfunded, and what they're what they're going to be. But those people are getting what they want. And then what the game was when it got released, like the game will improve over the next year, two, three years. And that's also the problem too. It's not stuff. a complete game. Yeah, and that's why it's why it's not entertaining. Yeah. Uh, the thing they released isn't. isn't I'm not. Full, I'm not disagreing with you. I'm just trying to eliminate it based I, off of everything else on this list. Yeah. I just don't see the gap in yeah. expectations. I never saw it as this high level thing. Yeah, it had Oculus support, and that's that's the uh, thing that keeps making me uh, check back in with it because I really want to actually try. Are the we game cutting? Using the Oculus. What are we cutting next? Get rid of Space D- Space DF9. Yeah. That just uh, as far as what that was just, that was more company not entertaining me than the actual game itself because I was entertained by the game. So but who, the, who was disappointed in Thief? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that is me. Burr, burr, and you're so sitting right next to me. Okay, okay. So <laughs> here's, and, and why were your expectations? That's what I was, was about it, to say. Well, the expectations of Thief being good should not have been there because it's never really been good. <laughs> <laughs> I would turn um, this table over if my laptop wasn't on it. Now, I bought, I bought Thief. You flip my laptop. But it was more of a, I was hoping that it would be good. I but I didn't have the expectation that it was. And it was you just, were playing it wrong. It was just average as it should have been. 
Yeah, when you talk about the gap, that makes the it ga- <laughs> the gap. It makes it more. Yeah, I can see Thief's not going to win this, but I did put it on the list okay. simply because I played through that entire game and I was never really excited about <laughs> what I was sure? doing, but I saw a potential there that really yeah. made me yeah. upset. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which that's, that's oh. the definition of yeah. Thief. It's yeah, there is a there's, there, there's there always is a been great potential. game there, but I. Yeah. I, I it always such seems. A huge problem it always solved. seems like they have the technical stuff down, and then it's just kind of yeah, yeah. All right, who had expectations of Outlast? Because I fucking love Outlast. Um, I didn't, but I can <laughs> see how you could love it because of how goofy it is. I don't know. I got into it. Really? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Well, but you were you. So you were entertained. Yeah. So take it off the list. <laughs> But it, but <laughs> somebody put it up there. Somebody put it up. Yeah, yeah it like, wasn't me. Oh oh, well, uh, that's why I'm trying to suss out who. There's a lot of other people not here, so that's true. Take it off. Actually, Alice of the fine. of the voters, it's not too many, <laughs> except for Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I was in chat. I will admit that uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have had high expectations for Lords of Shadow too. <laughs> so um, did anybody play it? Well, then you shouldn't have any expectations for that one underneath it either. Okay, I mean that's or that's what I want to talk. Like that's what, that's what I, want to talk, I want to talk to Cole about. No, I, I have. I have. Don't you have a podcast that does that? I feel like the way we're, ta- <laughs> we're I feel like the way we keep talking about it, it's just going to be Destiny, Assassin's Creed, and Watchdog because those are the only ones. That's not the point. Of, that's my. It's not the point. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I, I would actually I mean, take Assassin's. Creed. If I would take the, Assassin's Creed off. Yeah, yeah. I, because but, yeah, because it's it shouldn't really have the gap. It's Assassin's Creed is not amazing. Never really had what? It. Agreed. The yeah, but the, but the <laughs> step they made from coming from the uh, three to Black, Black Flag, Flag yeah, was a good yeah. step, and then people thought that it was going to continue that. Well, how path. do you? How are all fools for trusting s- them? How do you step up from pirate ships? Because but they I've still heard, made Assassin's <laughs> Creed three. <laughs> but I've heard yeah. Rogue. But yeah. I've heard people enjoying Rogue though. Well, yeah, two was, two is good. Three is bad. Right. Four is good. All right. <laughs> so rid of Unity, ki- Unity for, by order should be bad. So Unity is bad. <laughs> Get rid of mercenary. If you do the math, it's the yes. it's the they call. Put, they put run. two out. We have the Call of Duty those. formula. We have enough of them now to figure out the <laughs> there formula. There were two of them put out at the same time. <laughs> I got rid of Mercenary Kings in the meantime. One of them, in regards to its competition. He's just so. going to start deleting things when we start laughing. Um, <laughs> the evil within. <laughs> um, why did you have high expectations about 2K15, Cole? <laughs> I, I mean, I want a good wrestling. I want a wrestling game. I, I want, want to play. Game, I want one so bad. Never gonna be. Well, and I guess this is the first like full year that they had to develop uh, a new game. Yeah. Um, from it's been the, a whole year on. I mean, full years previous. But oh, the, they're part of the THQ mm. fuck up. So yeah. they. It's been weird. <laughs> um, the so F2. there was hope there, and like s- some of the things where they they were saying in the press were interesting, but I just know. don't know how you mess up a wrestling game. They they haven't made a good one. I since know. The original I just, uh, but because I mean, you're <laughs> yeah. you're you're obviously limited to a certain space, so you yeah. should have to figure out the physics of that yeah. pretty easily, yeah. especially but if you have a year. I just feel like it's been bad yeah. for years, and this one was also bad. Oh, of course, because yeah. people keep buying it. <laughs> <laughs> the market demands. No, I, I'm I'm saying that in regards to the gap here of expect. Do you agree, Cole, or did you buy into the hype train and think it's at the level of these other games? Oh, it's not as much as these other games, okay. for sure. All right. So, Evil Within... Especially, especially because we don't have a bunch of people who are th- really give a shit about that game on yeah. site. So, e- Evil Within, I don't I, feel like... I would say I had some expectation for it. <laughs> I, I think it's just a different... It's a different game than what everybody thought yeah. it was going to be. I, I don't know that it was bad. It was just different. I wanted yeah. survival horror and not... Torture porn. porn. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's what Somebody I thought I was porn? getting. So was, yeah, like if you yeah. knew it was this torture game, it delivers on what? Mm-hmm. Okay, it is. so I, I'm Destiny? not really, I'm not really gonna fight. <laughs> I'm not really gonna fight for Evil Within, but I think it was a legit contender to be in the but, top five. Yeah, I would, I would say Evil Before Within cut, over Assassin's Creed because I'm with you on that. Yeah, I, I because my expectations for Assassin's Creed Unity were low. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So did it, if anybody. Uh, it might be maybe Aaron. Did you were you shocked after Black Flag? I was shocked that Unity was as poor as it turned out to okay, be. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me state the case for NHL 15. Even though none of us played it, but just like I this. watched, <laughs> I watched enough of it. This is okay. So this is actually traditionally a pretty good yeah. sports series. Yep. And this was the next gen leap for them, and they basically cut 
seventy five percent of its core features, yeah. released the game, and then just patched in yep. all of the different sections of the game as they finished them. I would say that's probably yeah about accurate. And did not wow. communicate that that's what they were doing. Yeah. So very egregious there. They were they were just really wanting to get into the egregious the next gen stuff. So for the record, my my list is Destiny, NHL fifteen, and Watch Dogs. Hmm. Mine, I'm Destiny and Watch Dogs for sure. The other three. Okay. I mean, I'd probably... So I think that if, is Destiny and Watch Dogs are in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah. Those two move on. Okay. I, um, I could say you could get rid of NHL. Okay. Because really, you're, I mean, you're playing it for the actual the, yeah. gameplay. You, you can play a, right. a team versus a team. Right. In a full hockey game. But of course, the full <laughs> gamut of things is like the franchising mode and stuff like that. I think like there's that. a huge fucking problem with sports games right now, and I hope they fix yeah. it. I think they can fix it next well, year. Well, I mean, the, the NBA games were, yeah. are, have been pretty solid this year, so. I just, they just needed to take years off with the next gen leap, but mm-hmm. okay. I've said my piece there. Um, so I'm evil within over Unity. How many of those do we have? You, that's a no. I mean, I, I I was more I was more anticipating Evil Within than I was Assassin's Creed. I have no faith in Assassin's Creed ever. Okay. So. <laughs> I, I, I can see I can see what Aaron's saying about Unity being bad compared to Four. I just didn't have that expectation that it would be good. Cole. Yeah, I mean, I think I think you guys make a good point. I don't really want to fight about Unity. Um, <laughs> it's it's. There's, I want to fight. There's some expectations there for me and Aaron, but I don't think it that weighs the yeah. passion you feel for it or the uh, passion and your indifference. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be my number one, so I don't care if it's in yeah. the top three. Right. Sure. Yeah, it's going to be down between Dusty and Watch Dogs anyway. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody not voting for Destiny before do we just pull out arguments? I, Does Destiny win? I, I, would, I would argue for Watch Dogs. Okay. okay. Just, I mean, just... That is as a fucking mess. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that just. Okay, they. If you remember when they first rolled out, well, we were Watch Dogs all, was here's the next gen. Yeah, that here's, we were like, yeah. this is it. We yeah. were all. Oh, oh my god, yeah. that was that was one of my pre-order <laughs> games. I mean, we were yeah. all live streaming that, like okay. in chat. Like we were all in chat, like yep. freaking out when they were showing that. And what what were they <laughs> what were they actually showing us? Like really, like what out of all that convinced us that that was gonna blow us away? Okay. I'm, my pick would be Watch Dogs, okay. yeah. mainly right. because we all still kind of played <laughs> yeah, Destiny. That, that's the problem, right? I mean, you I can still do. be entertained but, playing yeah, Destiny with other people. Destiny's fun with other people, yeah. I think. It's not very fun by Watch yourself. Watch Dogs by yourself or with people would just be awful. Yeah, I, and uh, Evil Within, you would probably just get awkwardly attracted to whoever you're playing with. I think the whoa, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? who are you playing with? Okay, the <laughs> the, the argument the one? argument for Destiny, even though people continue to play it, and there's a if I didn't have other things to do, I might for play Destiny. it. That's the thing. They could come out with another Destiny, and people would. I wonder how long we hope uh, for that. But I mean, but, Destiny did have a much bigger hype. That's the that's yeah. the, like yeah. was was. It's like Watch Dogs looked great, but it well, it didn't have it's the, the bungee train. Here's and the beta was so like we were all yeah. psyched about the beta, and then you get the real game and you play for another four hours, eight hours, and you're like, this is freaking so boring. What That's if they had released the it. Watch Dogs beta? You would have not enjoyed it. I didn't play the beta. Well, I'm just saying, if they had made, if it they beta. had, you would have not enjoyed it as probably much as you That's did Destiny. I'd, That's I feel like the gap in Destiny mm. is bigger. <laughs> Yeah, I don't <laughs> because I like I was betting the farm on Destiny. I was like, this is I blame Destiny for me playing World of Warcraft right now because it's like filling that yeah. gap. <laughs> I think you referred to it as it, it, as if Mass Effect and Halo had a sp- and Borderlands <laughs> had a space baby when you yeah, were talking about the yeah, beta to me. Yeah, um, that sounds like something I'd say. <clears throat> it's good Kool Aid, Jason. I understand where you're coming from though on the Watchdog gap and the whole the next gen. Like here it is. This is what you're gonna get, and then we didn't get that. But I do feel like my destiny disappointment is just so much greater than how I ever felt after playing Watch Dogs. Yeah, so I played Watch Dogs and I was like, eh, this isn't as good as I thought it would be. But I played Destiny and I, and I continue to play it regardless of just feeling so shitty <laughs> <laughs> about this game. Okay, so, but the thing is about Destiny is that there's, is there still potential there for them to do something but, greater with it? But when you say that, that is also true. I think Bungie yeah. can write what's wrong and but I don't think Ubisoft's coming But what exists in 2014? Back. Because they can also patch the shit out of Watch Dogs or... Bullshit. I don't see them <laughs> doing that. <laughs> I mean, they won't. But there are like, fundamentals in Watch Dogs. But, 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 you, got, but you, you can 
You could overwrite the entire game with a different game. I'm if, just saying you have to judge it if based they on send what. you a new disc. If, <laughs> if they just so, passed Watch Dogs with Nancat or whatever that thing is called, <laughs> that would be highly more entertaining than the game itself. I think I so. If you game. if you go back to I your, don't know where you brought I up the scenario. Point, so. <laughs> JP brought up what if you played a beta of Watch Dogs? Like if we played a beta of Watch Dogs, well, we wouldn't have liked Watch Dogs and we wouldn't have bought I it. I felt like the hype, but we all loved the beta of Destiny, <laughs> and we all hate the actual game. Okay, wait. At the, which at I the, think makes that. But at gap. the end of that beta, didn't you? Didn't we all just kind of have like, okay, I kind of beat Earth. How many more planets are they going to do? Is this all? Like, That's is true. More? We did. I, I, you had this we were, thing we, were quest- we were questioning the but scope the of the time, game after. The I felt like that. you didn't hesitate to buy it day one. Like I feel like Watch Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I pre-ordered the yeah. shit out of yeah. the most expensive thing they would even let me with buy. those doubts, you didn't. I even bought the. St- yeah. We even bought the ninety dollars version so we could have the season in, pass. But, in the, but at some point, we all oh. kind of knew Watch Dogs was falling apart. Like from the like the excitement at E three. It's not my fault you spent money on Destiny. <laughs> so I blame Jason. I think what you're trying to say is we were not entertained with Watch Dogs before we actually even got <laughs> it and played it. We were excited about it and we lost the excitement ah, before man. it even came out. I don't know. I knew a lot of people that pre-ordered a console when they saw Watch Dogs. All right, let's just go around. Cole, what's your vote? Destiny. <clears throat> Gifford. Mm. Okay. I, <laughs> J, no, that's no. I mean, that, literally, that's fine. JBT's Watch Dogs. No, it's Remember Me. Okay. And then, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I said I'm, it. I can talk about it. Uh, <laughs> you summoned him. Why wasn't that our old game, 2014? Anybody play it? I, no. I, <laughs> I'm actually leaning towards Watch Dogs because I just keep remembering the that you fucking should. debut trailer. Yep. So, Coop. Destiny. God, you you didn't even play it. <laughs> like, that's really like, what Destiny. Yeah, you like barely. I'm on the moon. <laughs> I I beat what I'd already moon. played in the beta again. Aaron, <sighs> I really want to say Destiny. Okay, I was I'm actually surprised by that. <laughs> it hurts. Jordan, you get. A, you, you I'm get gonna a, say Watch Dogs because uh, I'm still excited to play <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> PC. And then see that's the thing too. I may have I may have been on the Destiny bandwagon. I, I'm just gonna call it that. But it's, I'm not mean any offense by that. So we got but oh, sh- they didn't. They, it's up to you. <laughs> it's just the it's just the fact that they didn't release it on PC. I'm fine either way. This if they had released that on PC and I yeah. played it, I'd probably be agreeing with a lot yeah. of you right now because yeah. I would have bought that okay. day of. I would have spent sixty dollars on that and probably been really pissed off right now. I don't know. I, yeah. I, so go ahead. I have to go with Destiny because I at least could play Watch Dogs by myself. Destiny by yourself is even worse than Destiny with people. It is. It is pretty <laughs> bad by yourself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm glad Watch Dogs put up a fight because I really wanted to stick it to U- Ubisoft. But in um, as much as you were all sort of saying about Bayonetta with yep. your wife walking in the room, imagine that with the evil within. Yeah. Don't want to forget about that. Yeah. <laughs> Never forget. That'd be kind of awkward. All right, gentlemen, this is my last category. All I right. am needed elsewhere. Have fun. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Giff. We'll see you, Gifford. Uh, see you, winner Gifford. of our Not Entertain Award is Destiny and uh, runners up Watch Dogs and the Evil Within. For the record, can I have his mic? <laughs> if you'd like to move, you can. No, Bo- thanks. I'm good. Both Destiny and Watch Dogs are not entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't, yeah, yeah, that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't make them less entertaining. The winner, <laughs> both. The winner is both. Or does, the winner it is does both. make them less entertaining. Yeah, they're all yeah, winners Ubisoft. and losers at the same time. <laughs> I still think Ubisoft should have been on the list. That would have been great. I would have voted that way. I that category. Yeah, <laughs> we would have been done on. Ten yeah, minutes collect- ago. collectively, what's Ubisoft that? Would have, what's would that other game? It? The New York City game. Post apocalyptic game that's coming out next year. The division? Whoa. Division, yeah. yeah. I'm wondering uh, if we'll be talking about that in the same manner. I, think we got a little I hope bit. not. It's but maybe. Up, so probably. That's well, another one where it it's a Tom Clancy game, so I wouldn't have a super high expectation. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. I like the last there Splinter. The, tra- the trailer looked good. I don't know. What, oh, uh, you, the okay. division. Oh, sorry about because division, I mean, honestly, yeah. when I saw that, I had it was the same feelings I had. For, you know, when I There's saw Watch Dogs. Yeah, that's true. It looked pretty. Okay. There was some recent positive buzz about it, but I don't know if it was. So cool. I'm just wondering if we're going to be, you know, talking about that. Yeah, maybe. Well, this I mean, time this, at this point, I just approach <laughs> approach everything Ubisoft does with caution. Sure. So. Well, isn't isn't Destiny releasing another game? Oh, uh, they'll they will always be releasing things for Destiny. So yeah, we can bring Destiny. They're gonna to trick the you into doing a subscription by just releasing <laughs> things every. I, I mean, honestly, I'm just hoping whenever they release it on PC, that I'll be able to. I don't know to if get they will. I don't know if they will. I think they will. Um, I think they will. 
All right, next up is the More of These Award, uh, which is kind of brought about by like our middle tier game of the year. It's a little... This was really hard. It's hazier now. Yeah, this it's was... Like, this was really hard for me to think of anything that actually fit in this category. So it's not the AAA release, yeah. but it's a it's the kind of a mid range release, and it can't be from a major publisher. So yeah, that that, that was the problem. And it's not just indie games, right. but um, but anyway, like it's that awkward gooey center. Yes, but th- those games that you'd like to see uh, more of them. Mm. So here's what we came up with. Uh, maybe that game A was really good. Yeah, uh, we got stick, so good. sticks, master Sequel shadows. Oh, that thing again! Uh-huh. Uh, surprisingly, didn't get a vote. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> uh, High rule r- warriors, which would, you could classify as like a B release for Nintendo. Uh, Earth oh, Defense Force, game. which is so close to being awesome. It's almost there, guys. EDF it's almost. almost e- it's almost like plus. able to be recommended to. Well, people that play video well, games. Well, that's what they said about the first one, too. <laughs> Almost able that's, to be recommended. Uh, Strider. <laughs> Can't wait for the next-gen EDF. Which I forgot was this year. Valiant Hearts. Captain Toad. Treasure Tracker. Hell yeah. And The Wolf Among Us. Which, yeah, that, that was... Yeah. I mean, I... It's... It's that one. It is not okay. Out of all of them, if that one, Telltale is AAA, yeah, this is still not their their major franchise. Oh, well, of course it's, it's not. It's so, not their A-tier. No. huh? Yeah, I don't think it's their A tier. No, I think it's yeah. It's okay. not. I mean, it is certainly. So, it was certainly something out of left field for them. I think. Is there any other games you want to add, or at least like have the conversation if it should be uh, Lords Lords of the Fallen? Okay, <laughs> that was the other game you would have voted for. <laughs> yeah. Lord, yeah. Lords of the Fallen. I had Thief on there too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, I no, Lords of the Thief Fallen. didn't make. Yeah, Thief didn't make. No Thief. Um, I just can't think of anything that I've. Are we doing like uh, like indie? Yeah, yeah. Had, uh, Xenonauts. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know just if I need the more original that. XCOM games. Just, uh, <laughs> Game that did actually come out in this that year. Thing. Okay. Yeah, I checked. I'm okay. No what joust. gets cut? So, Valiant Hearts, who Ubisoft made that, didn't they? Uh-huh. Or was it just the yep. Ubi engine? It's the, it's they the made Ubi it. art engine, yeah. Oh, okay. For but, what? But are, but it's still middle for tier. everything. Well, yeah, it's kind of like... I f- is it just because I categorize it the same as like Blood Dragon. Oh, yeah, I got which you. Was in it's this just category. not Assassin's Creed or Far Cry. So uh, yeah, I think I, I don't know. I just it's just one of their it's it's their Captain Toad mm-hmm. to me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not a. I mean, I it's not tied to anything else. Okay. Mm. Well. What's that? Child of Light. Child of Light. Sure. Yeah, yeah. that's in the yeah. same category. I just couldn't get a sense if people like that game or not. Oh, I'm weird. I'm loving that game right now. You like the rhyming? Yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> okay, whimsy. what stands out? Uh, what stands out? So we need to cut stuff. So is, are we cutting stuff that we really don't want? We did, we don't think is the best representative of like out of the, which three of these do you want to see more games get inspired I, by or sequels? Or I think probably Xenonauts because it is. I feel like inspired it's, by an, you know an already old game, so we don't need people to be inspired by it more. No. Okay. Just keep producing okay. it. Okay. I think EDF needs to stay on the list. We could probably cut the Wolf Among Us too. Yeah, I would. Yeah, we can cut that. Because there will already, they're all already be more of yeah. these. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of them. I really like Valiant. Strider's very classic, too. So like it, there's nothing specific I would take from Strider, although it's worth playing. Um, and I forgot that it came out this year. So I think Hyrule I think Warriors has to be. Has to I think I think there are enough. I just want more <laughs> more Zelda games. I don't care who's <laughs> making them. Or okay, well, okay. Why there are enough? Just keep making Zelda games. <laughs> Whatever that. F- what is that fucking series that it's Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors? Warriors. There's enough Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors. Warriors. But they're, yeah, they're already doing more cross. But at the same time, I I'm okay with Nintendo getting a little weird. So am I, and that's why I, I wanted. But we've got that with Captain here. Toad. So yeah, we'll, we'll make that our. So that's our our Toads Nintendo keep getting weird. Nintendo yeah. keep letting doing other, people, other stuff. Uh, let yeah. other people mess with your franchises. Don't you don't have to do just your AAA stuff. Um, between Child of Light and Valiant Hearts, I'd rather go with Child of Light. I would rather R- go with Valiant Hearts because it's an RPG. Valiant Hearts, where Battle. Valiant Hearts is a puzzle game. Valiant Hearts is a great adventure game. 
and visit there's a, a, there's a it's dog. A, it's a puzzle game, though. Yes, right? well, it's a pu- it's an it, that's what in, yeah, it's an adventure game. Like it's more has more in common with like the Wolf Among Us, but it's done in a like I'm like Telltale. Like this is a different way you could do this. That's what it's, I was thinking while I was playing. And that. the puzzle side of it, it's not like it's not like super difficult puzzle. It but I love I lo- I really like the puzzles. I love the yeah. pacing of it, and it's more they're just telling a story with just a little bit of puzzle in there, so that you're not just watching it. Where are you at on Child of Light, Aaron? I can't remember. I I streamed it once, and I've never played it again. Okay. But it was it, I don't think that's speaking to the game itself. I just got kind of it fell off my radar. But it was an interesting kind of a not nonviolent mm-hmm. is a good way to put it. It's just got its own kind of character to it that. I think is worth endorsing. Uh, I'm okay with cutting Earth Defense Force just because it's so damn iterative, but it's getting closer. So <laughs> don't next and, year. And, and, Keep and making them. You're gonna, you're they're releasing close. this for the PS4 in Japan, and hopefully it comes over here because that'll fix all the frame rate issues and up the resolution. So it'll be a little bit more play- playable. Wait, so you're saying the Japanese will fix that for us? <laughs> well, they're the only ones working on the problem. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lords of the Fallen. The only thing I would say is there are more of those. Do you want? Do you want more Dark Souls clones? No. <laughs> I guess. I guess Dark Souls is making more <laughs> Dark Souls yeah, clones. Like, mm-hmm. So you have Bloodborne. So I feel like it. I feel like it's covered. Yeah. But I do like that Lords of the Fallen exists. I like. I like, I like that, that somebody other, else. I like that other companies yeah. are, st- are stepping into. The, there's an actual genre yeah. of it now. It's not just the Dark Souls genre. <laughs> yeah. The really, the really hard, yeah, the hard, unforgiving game. Yeah, the throw hard. your controller at the but TV. Is it as games. hard as Dark Souls? I hear it's no, easier. Or no. it's, it's easier. easier. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah it's much easier. It's, it's EA. It's the thing oh. that is getting me ready to actually. EA play, likes you to finish their game so play. that you'll buy EA, more. EA of thinks Souls it's really game. hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's so much harder than Madden. What? A <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay getting rid of uh, Child of Light because yeah, Valent. Honestly, the reason I want to see more of those types of games, other than like it's a, yeah. m- well, it's a much simpler RPG. Okay, I love the look of it. Let's hold on. Cole, yeah, the look is great. Hold on. Let's let Cole say but something about that because he voted for it. Oh, did he not? Yeah, oh. I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, I I think like if we have to have sticks on this list, um, I think Valiant Hearts and Captain Toad are more interesting to me than Child of Light. Okay, with Captain Toad, and I don't I don't I'm surprised I'm coming up with. Uh, a knock against it. There are other puzzle games that Nintendo's made that are kind of similar to it. Like, do we like it because it's a puzzle game, or I think I'm I'm more for it because I want Nintendo to make smaller games. That's well, why I'm into it. I mean, it was my one of my favorite parts of Super Mario 3D World, but I also like the idea of Nintendo not making huge games every so often, but it, the small games more. Is frequently. it more unique or better as a puzzle game than Child of Light is as a unique RPG? Can I say that again? I it, think it, so. Is Captain Toad more unique as as a puzzle game than Child of Light is as an RPG? I personally believe so. Okay. Yeah, and I would rather see Nintendo start to just branch off okay. in their franchises. All right. All right, just want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, and, 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 this, and the style of Child of Light, even though it's a different type of game than Valiant Hearts, that style is still there and represented. Mm-hmm. So, yep. yes. That's perfect. All that's right. I, I want to see a Captain Tingle game. No, no. I like. Uh, don't Tingle. listen to this man. <laughs> Meet me in the restroom. I like how. Whoa. St- <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like how Styx made it this far without anybody saying a word about it. So that's kind of a compliment. He's a real master well, of shadows. Yeah, <laughs> he snuck in there, yeah. <laughs> notice, yeah. notice who is, keeps bringing it up. He didn't say a single word about it because he knew it was still on the list. No one def- no, yeah, nobody wanted no, to I'm okay with it. it. Distract yeah. us with I don't fun. really know. I, I'm actually leaning towards Valiant Hearts, but I'm, I can be talked out of that. So, um, I don't know anything about the other two. I have no idea about any of these games. What I like about Styx, um, based on conversations with Jordan, is... This is. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, that's how we've kind of. Go, Fifteen gonna, minutes ago. It no, we talked about it on a podcast. <laughs> um, is um, it it's got, defended the game to everyone. It's that you're. I felt like it did Thief better. <laughs> oh, definitely, yeah. And you're playing as like a smaller, more fragile creature, and the uh, playing as a goblin, but the stealth sequence is working like in vertical towers. Is sounds really yeah the, sounds really cool the level design and you get to vomit really cool. on people and they die, <laughs> well, they, <laughs> when they, die. they created go- goblin abilities that's real life for me every lot, day a lot of variation in it it's just it's a real simple 
set up and you kind of you end up replaying a lot of the areas two or three times that's why they're so massive and and complex but i would i would like to see uh because it's uh i swear it's a unity engine game oh yeah i don't know yeah like it's not even that it's not even that like some powerful studio or some big studio using some power. I engine. like these three as representatives of like that missing middle tier game. Though. Yeah, me too. Just, yeah, because it was a forty dollar game when yep. it came out. I think. Yeah. Um, does anybody is anybody pulling for Captain Toad to win? From what I know about Valiant Hearts, I don't think I need Captain Toad to win this. Cap- Valiant Hearts just really seems to have hit hard. In terms so of what it delivers, I thought I knew what it was going in, and I like I knew it was definitely going to be story driven. But I really loved the pace of the game. It was kind, it was really easy to play. The puzzles were really satisfying, and things just moved along. and And then that story just hits it hits hard. And but at the same time, the the artwork, this game wouldn't work with a different art style. It would be it would be just too too much of a downer. But like yeah. they do enough with I don't know because. You know, I might have just like barely survived a shelling, but just like that dog just being all happy and happy to bring me that next stick of dynamite just made my day. So, um, I don't know. Valiant Hearts is really going to stick with me. And I, I wish I had played sticks to be able to compare the two, but mm-hmm. Va- Valiant Hearts is where I'm leaning. We okay with yeah, that? Or Yeah, I'm not going to fight for sticks yeah, winning. Or anything <laughs> like that. I'll lower yeah. my Captain Toad vote. I was, Im- I was impressed that a puzzle game could be so story driven. With Valiant yeah, Hearts. It, it's 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 almost done too smoothly. It's like yeah. I don't know. I'd like to figure out more of what that team, uh, what they work on elsewhere. But so our winner of the more of these award is Valiant Hearts: The Great War. Runners up: Sticks, Master of Shadows, and Captain Toad: Treasure Tracker. Oh, next up is our Quickie Award. Again, meet me in the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Mr. Tingle. What's that mean? Um, so this is the game where you've got about 10 or 15 minutes to play and you can get in and out and it's a good time. <laughs> Sticks master. So, um, so the evil within, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mario Kart 8, Captain Toad, uh, Hearthstone. I don't know if you've heard of that, that game. Nope. Hearthstone. I heard it sucks. Okay. Is, which you heard it wrong. <laughs> I have Trials Evolution, but I'm pretty sure you meant Trials Fusion. So oh, yeah, that's Fusion. the new one. Yeah. Yeah. I I had it yeah mixed up Super Smash Bros Smash Bros threes <laughs> so, <laughs> it has like so much so many roof rousers roof roof rousers one thousand and one <laughs> spikes Actually, I, I can't decide if that game's For fun or not fifteen minutes <laughs> well you can play a level you can, yeah That's how long if you're lucky you play. <laughs> <laughs> play level eighty five times <laughs> yeah. Phoenix not Rage finished, we haven't talked about much, much about but. I watched it. Anybody other than us play it? Crossy Road. Crossy Road. And Escape Goat 2 got some votes. All right. Any any other nominees? Where's WWE (laughs) Supercard? I didn't make this list. Wait for the mobile list. All right. And Immortals will be on next year's list. Um, (laughs) Anything else? I know know I voted for a bunch of things, but I can't remember what that were. It's one of these. (laughs) <laughs> no, no, no. I had I had voted for other things that didn't show up whenever we actually finally hmm. started voting. It was weird. Like, oh, you might have, well, like for me, it would be like Far Cry 4. I was going to say Far Cry 4. Like I could totally jump in there and just do whatever for 15 I mean, we, minutes. I'll put, Kill I'll, Tigers. I'll, right. I'll, put it on to, I'll put it on to talk about it. It was random stuff like that you sure. know, that I had, but because I can't really talk about Nobody. many other of these games. Okay. I can't play Far Cry 4 for 15 minutes. It's got to be it's, it is four rough. hours of yeah. nonsense. So, yeah, that's a, everything. Four hours of hardcore elephant my action. Question, hardcore elephants. <laughs> <laughs> my question is, I some of these games... Oh, God. Some of these games, the loading process and the menu structure <laughs> and getting into the game... Yeah. yeah. It's not like it's your spelunkies. Pro- it's, it's, it's not like your spelunkies where you Far just Far Cry Four got to open Steam. Then Steam's got to open up slow. Uplay. No, I was actually <laughs> and then Uplay's got to. I was actually thinking of Super Smash Brothers <laughs> because just getting into a game like I, not, not not that it's terrible, but it it actually prohibits me from just jumping on and playing real quick. Like no, between she's just the same way. So I, it, it, I'm just throwing that out there that I'm going to be coming from that angle. But well, if that's the case, then Far Cry Four is the same thing. Yeah, so. yeah. Far Cry Four is loading as well. well. I wouldn't have gone for Far Cry Four, but I see I, what you're saying about Smash. I 
I, I'm able to get into it and play it a couple and of that games. Might, that might be few. more of the Wii U, just like loading that thing up and it's just uh, still s- slow as fuck. But it is, it's more of like a party thing. Yeah. You, you're going to sit down and play for longer, so. No. Okay. It's not, gonna, it's not the winner. If you want to cut it now. Are you going to bet on AI matches? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's fun. That's fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can bet on <laughs> matches. We did it. We did it right. in the office. What can we, what can we cut? Probably a scapegoat, Eight too. Kirbys. You vote, right. on, vote on the color of the winds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Escape Go Two. I mean, you, you, you can play a puzzle and get out. Uh, I don't think Phoenix Raids and a Thousand One Spikes are going to get any. You can get rid of Far Cry Four. Uh, I, yeah, I, I want to keep it on just for conversation, all right. for, but for now, um, Luke Rousers is kind of that is all it is. Like every, every it's pretty, round, it's pretty fast too. You just it's a fast turn game. it on and start playing. Threes was my go-to game. So you want to get shot down? Um, you play a lot ba- of threes. Are you in the bathroom for fifteen minutes? Mario Kart. Playing threes, playing yeah. Threes for. Mario Kart for like 15 minutes, just do a quick race, I guess. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't play, play it that way. Yeah. But so if we're going to cut Mario Kart, would we cut Trials? It's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Load it up, do a match, and then you're done. Okay. Wait, that is the point of this category. Right? The, <laughs> you could do that. I mean, you can't. I just I wouldn't know. turn on Mario Kart. I, mean, I, just, I just don't. Race. Okay. I just yeah. don't know what Fusion did would more you play, so than the other Would you just ones? play. One track of fusions and then just okay, crossy road. Would Blue you play it over and over and over again? Okay, well, escape, yeah, escape go to is not gonna hold up here. The loading no. time is part of that as well. Yeah, yeah. Loading time. Can you play Hearth? Can you play a match of Hearthstone in 15 minutes? Yes, you can. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, do, and I have. That's do, what okay. can you stop you? after <laughs> one 15 I have after yes. one match. Okay. Okay. You've, you've seen how we play it at work. Yeah, <laughs> I played on my one lunch game break. Out. <laughs> Uh, threes that yeah that's threes work sometimes sometimes a game threes can take longer than fifteen minutes it can um okay it can take fifteen okay, minutes because that's a multiple of three right yeah I think Far Cry's <laughs> gotta go with the other ones we cut three times um, five is fifteen yeah. I I, l- <laughs> I like the four a multiple of three I like everything about Luke Frouser's more than I enjoy playing it so <laughs> I'm in agreement Cause, like for whatever reason I didn't keep going back to it. So, oh man, I'm gonna choose between Crossroad and Threes. I feel like puzzles, how many puzzles can you bust out in Captain? Yeah, in 15 minutes. I don't think it's as strong here. It would be one or two, depending on how far you are. Oh, can I cut so Smash cut and make this list awesome? I said <laughs> we could cut Smash when you first brought it up. Yeah, I just get rid of it. Get it out of here. Murder. Get away. Are you okay with Go. that? Murder okay. City. All right, there's our finals. Easy. Um, so threes and Crossy Road. I gotta go with Crossy Road. Yep, because right before our podcast, I turned it on just to get my free gift. Oh, there's <laughs> gifts. I got to get it. You do. You got to get them yeah. all. Oh. Hang like, on. Everyone like, whip your phone out. like Pokemons. I'm okay with Crossy Everybody road. turn it on and get your gift in Crossy Road get right now. Crossy Roads. I'm okay with Crossy Road because I enjoy longer play sessions with Hearthstone now. So I'd rather play two or three matches and fuck around with stuff. So Wait, so is there no, there's no three support? I guess I'm... Crossy, Crossy Road hit harder, faster... <laughs> Than threes Better, do. stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I love threes, <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm kind of a defender of it. It'll come up later, but of like the shit that those guys have had to deal with with their clones. But yeah, um, there was that. But there's just something just simple and brilliant about Crossy Road. And I heard that Crossy Road was actually a clone too. That there's something else I, just like it. Oh yeah, Frogger. I could believe that. Yeah, Frogger. <laughs> I jumped right into well, a truck. Well, threes is just math. I mean, they didn't invent <laughs> they math. <copy> math. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> Um, I, but I could be talked into threes. Does anybody else? Does threes have any other support? Never played it. I, okay. I played it. I it required too much thinking. Crossy Road's pretty <laughs> mindless. Okay. And I don't want Hearthstone to win on principle. Right. <laughs> Put my pillow on you. The dog here. I would not having played Hearthstone. I feel like the people that I know, Crossy Road seems like it's easier to jump in and out. You could get sucked into Hearthstone. Crossy and play for Road, four hours. yeah. Crossy Road's an easier pick up and play. It's like you're not going to sit there and play Crossy Road for three hours. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I feel w- like I feel you're it. only going to play. I would have quick. to say that. Yeah, you'd have to take that into consideration how the the game is actually built to to be played. Yeah, I yeah. can barely play the game. Quickie Road. I I feel like Hearthstone's just a finalist now. I think it's Crossy Road and threes, and I'm trying to see if threes has any other supporters. I really I like. I, I, yeah. love that. I support. I really that. like threes. Like I, it's it's tough because Crossy Road came out more recently. Yeah. So I played threes pretty hardcore for about two months, and I'm kind of in that realm with Crossy Road. So I don't know how I'll feel about it mm. in yeah. months from now. But I feel like Crossy Road's easier to pick up and play one session versus 
Like I said, sometimes threes can get a little bit more intense. Or that's true. So, cross the road. Lots of lots Burr. of mindless versus thoughtfulness. <laughs> <laughs> we'll rename the award. <laughs> Quickie award winner is Crossy Road by Hipster Whale. Um, runners up threes and Hipster Hearthstone. Whale. Hearthstone. Give me that hearth. Hearth. Give me that hearth. Heartstones. Heartstones. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> the, you're, not you're not allowed to talk. Ban Jordan. The uh, <laughs> and last award for this one, uh, for this section here, is uh, the BFG award. This is the overachiever of the of the year. So keep keep that gap in mind, and just like overachiever. The way I always looked at it was like this game could have stopped. Like you didn't have to keep adding all this stuff, but thank you. So um, we've got Wolfenstein, the new order. Uh, South Park. Not the old order. The mm-hmm. Stick of Truth. No, that one wasn't over. <laughs> what happened here? Wasn't or- order enough. Lost my thing. Uh, d- wow. Divinity Original Sin. I was actually surprised that didn't come up more. But I think Ethan was our heavy player of that game. <laughs> uh, Shadow of Mordor. Far Cry 4. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Elephants. <laughs> Alien Isolation. <laughs> <laughs> elephant isolation. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Imagine motion tracking that elephant coming after you. <laughs> I don't think you would need it. You just you hear just, it. You just start shaking. <laughs> Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, or whatever they call the console version. Yeah. So, ultimate. Ultimate edition. edition. Evil edition. <laughs> evil. Ultimate evil. Any, anything you'd like to add for consideration here? Um, so this is our big ask, overachiever. Overachiever. Big overachiever. fat game award. Um, <laughs> I'm going to throw... I'm just going to throw this out to talk about it. That's what we'll be watching. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to tell us about it. I think, I think Call of Duty could probably be on here as well. Sure. Kevin Spacey. But then you could probably just take it right off. Uh, Bye, Kevin Spacey. Plan. Mm, there you go. Th- that, that's... Take it off. Yeah, that's, that's, that's... Take it all off. <laughs> as close Kevin as Spacey. Spacey. I mean, it's, 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 not, it's not a silly... <laughs> okay. <laughs> our, my first days, target... Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was going to say, that game's not really overachieving for what it is, but it was definitely an improvement on yeah. Yeah. past year's games. As it should be. And yeah, we yeah. got another category for that, too, so mm-hmm. we'll have to talk about it. Um, Far Cry 4 is the first thing that stands out to me. To what? Get rid of? Yeah. Because Far Cry 3 exists. Yeah, exactly. The elephants are cool, but that's yeah. about it. Like it it's kind yeah. of like, yeah, this is I'm just gonna pretty s- much what we expected. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to say this. The fourth game yeah, of a franchise yeah. like this should not be as m- fun. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <right. laughs> it should have. Fun. It should have worn out its welcome. Yeah. But so I'm okay Are with... we all in agreement they can't make Far Cry 5 like like this? Yeah, Far Cry 5 has to be different, I think. Oh, I would okay. hope. They, Far Cry 5 honestly, for someone that has actually bought this game, they could, and I think I'd still be okay, <laughs> okay. with it. Okay. I didn't, didn't play three. As How do you someone feel who illegally downloaded and didn't pay any money. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about vampires, though? Because Ubisoft's been asking. Well, uh, well, yeah, Far Cry vampires. I'd be all over. <laughs> all right. Can you? Can I ride? I just, a, can uh, I ride a vampire? Again, I'm, going, I'm going back to the gap. Wait, wait. If I can ride a vampire, isn't that just True Blood? <laughs> He's got a point there. Okay, I'm fine with getting rid of it. I just want to say that the, the fourth game of yes. this franchise should yes. not be this point. entertaining. Yeah, it should be. It should be bad. Well, and they got Blood Dragon mixed in there too, right. which was also awesome. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's a that's a that every game should be Far Cry. Yeah, All right, South Park. I like you because you should have sucked and not come. Oh yeah, came I out yeah, and you have even come out. And, this, and I can't. I was saying this earlier um, before we were streaming. I can't believe I just What's forgot about this game <laughs> because yeah, that game should not be as entertaining as it is to not only play but to watch, to experience other people playing it. You know, especially watching other people stream it and just the random stuff that happens. <laughs> that they went well ab- went above done. and beyond what my expectation was. Can it, can anyone speak to Divinity? I can't. I tried I can't. Uh, watching I pers- a playthrough of yeah. it. I, I, I personally it. can't, but um, I have a friend. I think the big thing is like it's a different style of game from the previous games in the series. Um, so I think there was question marks there of like if it would be able to be decent from changing paths, but. Mm-hmm. I don't think it is something that can stand okay. with anything else on this list right now. I mean, I 
I'm surprised it made it on my radar at all. That was kind of its co- the compliment to that game is that yeah. it got so much so much great buzz this summer and uh, um, yeah. But I mean, it's something I'm definitely going to. But I don't know to. if it was supposed to suck either. So <laughs> yeah. I think the other I, games in the series, some of the other games, have been real terrible. Yeah, and that this one is such a massive they, improvement. Yeah, they made this one really well. Because yeah, everyone who li- likes the series and li- and has played that game raves about it. What about getting rid of Diablo? Yeah, I was about to ask about okay. Diablo. Like, what's? I'm actually hold on. I'm going to target gods. We'll be watching first. Okay. This is just. I just don't think it'll hold up. Yeah, no, I don't think it'll be hold up. I'm glad it was on the list, but. Yeah, but like, I'll, I'll just like, the, the, they stuck to their fucking guns and. Is that the pixel? Yeah, pixel it's a little, like the little adventure yeah. game that. Huh. Yeah, yeah. It just has. Kind of your point and click stuff. Yeah. And the details they went into oh. how you win scenarios are just it, it's amazing to me. I agree. Yeah. But not that fun to play. No, um, well, for okay, reasons. Okay, so for fun? Yeah. so for Diablo three, Reaper of Souls, uh, Diablo three kind of for a lot of us didn't go that well, and I kind of stopped playing it after um, it first came out. They did went through all their auction house stuff, and and then Reaper of Souls came out and kind of just for me it fixed everything and just made it fun again and. But, I, but that, as I'm saying this, the gap is it. Is yeah, I was about to there. say, it's like they made it fun, but they didn't go and above then, and beyond what and they should have. They just yeah. finally delivered the game well, that they should that, have in yes. the first place. Yeah. I think the translation to consoles and the controller um, people, was a little bit of a surprise, too. People, uh, I mean, it seemed like the console fans really, really liked that game. So, uh, yeah. but yeah, I, I guess I guess in the expectations and, and, the, and like I said, that gap there just doesn't hold up. But I will also say how they continue to patch that game makes it more and more playable every day. So, um, all right. So when I look at Alien Isolation, still, it's kind of like the good and the bad is the fact that it's so damn long. <laughs> it's just like, holy shit, you made a lot of Alien, and that's awesome. But it does that make it a good game? I think so. Well, compared to everything that Bingo. Alien has done in the past, the Alien series has done in the past like ten years. I think it definitely. Yeah, it's... I think they overachieved by not making it a first-person shooter. Okay. Well, yeah, they definitely Re- refocusing on yeah, like what the atmospheric it. elements of the actual series. Yeah, I would oh, agree. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because yeah. it's all just it's, how everybody's saying it's all just... atmosphere. I mean, it's just as soon the, the okay. second you start that game, you're like, okay, I am in this world. The details that they went in. The actual, um, the the way they use sound, the way they the way the alien first appears. Okay. It, I mean, it's just it's it's all atmosphere, and I the last game that really freaked me out and kind of kept me l- like constantly attached to what I was doing was probably Fatal Frame. You, you know, mm-hmm. if you've played that before. I mean, it's just like. Just like total I have immersion. To, like, like I yeah, total immersion. I just have to like okay. get out of like when I when I can't even stay on my computer when I'm done playing this game. Like I, just have, <laughs> I, just, I just have to like get out. When I'm looking at this now, I think Cry in the closet. Did any well and think about where think about where the any alien games were before oh, this. Yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. that's a good point too. Yep. Well, yeah, Colonial it Marines. Wouldn't, is it wouldn't have taken right. It wouldn't have taken a whole lot to to improve on what they already did, but then they just. Blew it out of the water. And then, oh no, that's a good point. I, I was going to say well, we've got our comeback award later, but the ba- but it's not the really bar, a- the, the, but after they announced this, after Colonial Marines came out, that did set the bar kind of like when you when I go back to mm-hmm. that gap, and then I'm now I'm looking at Shadow of Mordor. I don't I don't know what everybody else's interpretation of of the hype of that game. Like, what did you guys expect from that game? Like, kind of just a hack and slasher. Like, did you expect bad things? Like, no. I expected no. another Lord of the Rings game. It, it pretty much delivered on what I thought it would be. Okay. I, I mean, I feel like, yeah. like out of these four, I think that's the one I want to cut. Like, I think like Shadow. Of Mordor. Yeah, I would agree. Shadow of Mordor probably would have been more impressive if you didn't really know about the Nemesis yeah. mm-hmm. engine before but, you played it. Yeah. If they just like surprised you with that, oh, and you're yeah, just that's, like, holy that's shit! What 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 I didn't feel like I couldn't get a straight answer out of people of whether it was fun to play or not. Like, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. It, but it took until you played it for me to understand if it was actually fun or not. Okay. But I think, yeah, I, I'm okay with cutting it and making our final the okay. finals list here. Because why the fuck is a new Wolfenstein any good? Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was great. And then South Park shouldn't have come out. And it should have been broken. And it should not be as dense as it fucking mm-hmm. is. I, I agree. Good yeah. lord. Um, 
I would say I would say South Park and Alien Isolation are probably the most immersive games that I've wit, you know witnessed or actually played this year. I am leaning towards South Park just because it's the fucking show. Like it, it is yeah, it you're, is. You're playing a very long episode of the yeah, show. I'd agree with that cuz like you said there's other categories that I'd fight for with Alien, so. Yeah. Uh, were you at Mr. South Park and Wolfenstein? I I'm still Wolfenstein. Okay. I, I, would, I would say I would maybe also agree with Wolfenstein because of the fact that there is such a huge gap. Yeah, I mean Wolfenstein has never actually been good. No, <laughs> it's always never. it's just it's never been good. It's it's only just been like technically impressive. Right. Like the original, was okay, yeah, right? the original, the original was the first of its kind, so that was impressive. You know, <laughs> Return to Castle true. Wolfenstein was the same way. It's like the game was boring, but it just looked pretty. Yeah, the the, the uh, one for Xbox doesn't exist. Yep. And <laughs> sorry. So yeah, it 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 just should have been another generic, good-looking shooter, and it was pretty fantastic. Yeah, I would agree with that. With South Park, I mean, it was great, but knowing how invested Matt and Trey were in it, I kind of, I mean, it was way better than I thought it would be. But I expected it to be pretty good, just with how because they weren't involved in the other games. I didn't know at if all. that was just hype, though. That just, I yeah. mean, but South Park just flows so well. It does. It really does. Okay. Um, they, okay, my, and, and as many my times floor, as I've seen it being played by other people, like Aaron and other people that I've witnessed, it's completely different every time, too. Like, it's <laughs> it's the same, but it's different. Yeah, I mean, the, the story is the same, yeah. but... The way, so, you get the, the way you get there and connect all the dots is pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess looking at it south... Because Alien Isolation is kind of on rails. Like you're kind of limited to what you're doing because at some point you're just running yeah, as around. As far as I know, I think this yeah. is between yeah, South Park and Wolfenstein. Yeah. Um, so I was more surprised by Wolfenstein, but I think I can see more. More was put into South Park, so they. I think they certainly overachieved. Okay. Yeah, they they overachieved. And what? Just, are you guys just dismissing Wolfenstein because the gameplay is the same and the story was what was interesting? I I'm dismissing it now. Okay, I'm dismissing it now because it didn't have the floor. Like as I I. I I didn't know if South Park was going to come out after THQ got bought. Mm -hmm. And then they kept right. pushing the game back and doing that like, oh, it's going to be March. It's going right. to kind of squeak it out. Then I was like, well, you thought it, was might, gonna die. it yeah. might suck. And why would Ubisoft care about South Park? And Matt and Trey just tried to do too much with it, and it's going to fall apart, and it's Obsidian, and they make broken games. Yeah. And <laughs> That's quite possibly why I forgot about it. Because there was just, so much against it. Yeah. And then even with Wolfenstein, it was just like, I thought it would be okay to play, and like, well, it wasn't like I, this. Okay, so th this might this might be a good argument for Wolfenstein. Okay, so there was Rise of the Triad, yeah, and then there was Wolfenstein. Which yeah. one? You know, Wolfenstein clearly, and also just Wolfenstein <laughs> clearly, yeah. yeah. So you know that that's the kind of comparison you can make to a game sort of the of other, that age. The other addition mm. to Wolfenstein is the fact that that story is so good, right, and so damn entertaining. Yeah, um, and they didn't need to add that. <laughs> Maybe um, one or of the things that makes Wolfenstein such an overachiever there was absolutely no hype whatsoever. Yeah, like no was, one cared. Yeah, there was no build-up. It wasn't until... It the, still doesn't the have one guy NVIDIA settings. Said, hey, everybody, <laughs> this, this is a great, yeah, yeah, this right. is a great I game. Had, I don't think it had more to overcome than South Park does. I yeah, I yeah, I think... Because yeah. the, the old Wolfenstein it's games yeah. weren't Licensed technically... Game. <laughs> they didn't have the label of being terrible like the old South Park games did. Yeah. That's true. Because right. like the South Park games, expected, have, it's like yeah. Wolfenstein has been consistently well, what not, it what it is yeah. Yeah. until now, where South Park has always been right. disappointing. So South Park has risen above, way above the bar that was set. Was right. Wolfenstein Phoenix. just yep yeah. I, yeah. I can yeah. I can, I can, I can be I can be convinced. Yep. I can be convinced. So Alien Isolation one. <laughs> <laughs> no, sticks did. This is why Jordan. This is why Jordan is back on the list. Sticks Isolation. All right, South Park. <laughs> Jordan can never host. BFG Award winner South Park, the Stick of Truth, runners up. Wolfenstein the New Order and Alien Isolation. So that's going to do it for day two of our awards.